The Vanished Prince Chapter 1 The Enchanted Kingdom In the heart of the lush, emerald green kingdom of Viridia, there lay a grand castle known for its towering spires and glittering turrets that kissed the sky. The people of Viridia were known for their joyous spirit, their vibrant festivals, and their devotion to their beloved rulers, King Edward and Queen Philippa. But most of all, they cherished their only son, Prince Matt, a boy with a curious mind, a golden heart, and eyes as bright as the stars. On the eve of Prince Matt's 16th birthday, the kingdom was preparing for a grand celebration. Colorful banners fluttered in the wind, musicians tuned their instruments, and bakers filled the air with the scent of sweet confections. The prince himself was abuzz with excitement, his mind racing with dreams of the adventure and responsibility that awaited him as he grew closer to his destiny as heir to the throne. But that night, under the cover of darkness, as a crescent moon hung high in the sky, a chilling fog rolled in from the shadowed wood, a place known for its dense, whispering trees and hidden secrets. As the fog crept into the castle grounds, a mysterious figure cloaked in midnight robe slipped past the guards and into the prince's chambers. When dawn broke, Prince Matt was gone. His bed lay untouched, the window flung open, and a cold wind carried whispers of dread throughout the castle halls. Chapter 2 The Search Begins The kingdom of Viridia was thrown into turmoil. King Edward dispatched his most trusted knights and wisest mages to search every corner of the realm, but Prince Matt seemed to have vanished without a trace. No ransom was demanded, no signs of a struggle were found, and none could discern how the mysterious fog seemed to sap their strength and cloud their minds. The only clue left behind was a single feather, black as night, found on the prince's windowsill. Days turned into weeks, and hope began to wane. The people whispered of curses, of dark magic from the shadowed wood, and of ancient prophecies that spoke of a royal child destined to disappear and return only under the light of a blood moon. But the king and queen refused to accept their son's fate. They summoned the greater sages from distant lands, hoping one of them could unravel the mystery. Finally, a traveler arrived at the castle gates, a young seer named Lyra, whose amber eyes seemed to pierce the veil between worlds. She spoke of a vision, of an ancient being who dwelt deep within the shadowed wood, who had once been a guardian spirit but had turned malevolent over time. This being, she claimed, had taken the prince for reasons unknown, and he could only be found by those pure of heart who carried no fear of the darkness. With no other options, King Edward offered a reward for anyone brave enough to venture into the shadowed wood and bring back his son. Many tried, and many failed, never to return. Chapter 3 The Unlikely Hero